Here we are. It's uh, early Tuesday morning, and Duke has one more title than they did down yesterday. I'm Laura Keeley here with columnist Luke DeCock, and Luke, the Blue Devils really put on a show here. It was a high-level game, and it was also different than every other Duke game this year. You know, they went smaller than they have for longer than they have with Emil Jefferson at the five and Marshall, Jaleel Okafor, and uh, Justice Winslow on the bench, and then Grayson Allen, you know, a guy that they haven't really relied on when they needed something all year is the go-to guy that scores 16 points and you know really gets them back in it when they were down nine it was a uh, it was quite a surprise but you know it's been a it's been a pretty successful run for the Blue Devils. Yeah and really the, the thing that stood out and has stood out all season is the resilience you look at Virginia coming back from the end there St. John's coming back from behind there North Carolina um, just again and again and tonight down nine in the second half Grace Allen takes over, Tyus Jones takes over, and then Jaleel Okafor, who's had a terrible night, dominated by Frank Kaminsky, comes in, makes two huge baskets, or four huge points, and, and that basically did it. And then Tyus Jones, who's just been lights on, Tyus is on, he saves his best for the biggest stages, the biggest moments. He did it again tonight. He hit that three-pointer with a minute 24 to play, looked at his family in the stands, screamed at him. He knew, we all knew at that point, it was over. Just a really remarkable achievement, and to me, one of the things that really stands out is how different this team is from Duke's other four championship teams. It's a team built around one and done freshmen. These guys are all going pro. You look at Wisconsin, looks like an old Duke team. You've got seniors, you've got Kaminsky as Leitner, and, and Decker as Grant Hill, and guys like that. And, and it's an older team, a more experienced team, but in the end, Duke had too much talent. It's a different Duke team, but it's an equally successful Duke team. It's five national titles, and the ACC is back on top for the first time since 2010. Yeah, you know, talent doesn't hurt. Obviously, they have the number one recruiting class, and they end up number one at the end of the season. Uh, you know, there's a reason Mike Krzyzewski only recruited one point guard for three years, and Tyus Jones, and we saw why tonight. So thanks so much, folks, for reading and following along this year. It's been a wild ride. For Luke DeCock, I'm Laura Keeley.